Okay, class, today we're in section 8.5, factor x squared plus bx plus c. 8.5, factor x squared plus bx plus c. Before, you factored out the greatest common monomial factor. Now, you will factor trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Key vocabulary, zero of a function. You know from multiplying binomials that x plus 3 times x plus 4 is going to equal to x squared plus 7x plus 12. You will reverse this process to factor trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. So in other words, what you're going to do is you're going to take the trinomial and you're going to have to go in reverse to find out what binomial made the trinomial. So we're going from here, trinomial, back to the original binomial. Key concept, get this in your notes. Factoring x squared plus bx plus c. Algebra, x squared plus bx plus c equals x plus p times x plus q, provided that p plus q is equal to b and p times q is equal to c. Example, x squared plus 5x plus 6. That's going to equal to x plus 3 times x plus 2. Because 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, but at the same time, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Example 1, factor when b and c are positive. So here it wants to factor x squared plus 11x plus 18. Notice the 11 is positive and the 18 is positive. Solution, find two positive factors of 18 whose sum is 11. Make an organized list. So you write down the factors of 18, 18 and 1, 9 and 2, 6 and 3. Now at the same time you're getting 18 through multiplication, you want to get 11 through addition. Now 18 plus 1 would give you 19. 9 plus 2 would give you 11. 6 plus 3 would give you 9. So the one you want then is 9, 9 and 2. Once again, 9 times 2, 18. 9 plus 2, 11. So those are your factors, 9 and 2. The factors 9 and 2 have a sum of 11, so they are the correct values of P and Q. x squared plus 11x plus 18 is equal to x plus 9 times x plus 2. You could have also written this as x plus 2 times x plus 9. It means the same thing. Once again, x plus 9 times x plus 2. That's the answer. But also the answer could have been written as x plus 2 times x plus 9. x plus 2 times x plus 9 is the same as saying x plus 9 times x plus 2. The order doesn't matter. The sign does. Positive, positive. Positive, positive. Now, if you were to go back to see if your answer is correct, notice how the binomial will come out with the correct trinomial, the original trinomial. So x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 9 times x is 9x. 9 times 2 is 18. Now you add the like terms. 2x plus 9x is 11x. Final answer, x squared plus 11x plus 18. Factoring, please read before I begin to explain examples two and three. Factoring, please read before I begin to explain examples two and three. Example two, factor when B is negative and C is positive. Factor when B is negative and C is positive. So we got N squared minus 6N plus 8. 
the eight is your C and the negative six is your B. Because B is negative and C is positive, P and Q must both be negative. If you're confused on that, just simply write out your factors. You're going to have a negative eight and a negative one, a negative four and a negative two. Negative eight, negative one, negative four, negative two. Now what I would do is I would list all the factors just to be sure you understand. So all your factors to come out with eight for multiplication, to come out with eight for multiplication, you will have eight times one, that's eight, four times two, that's a positive eight, a negative eight times a negative one, that's a positive eight, a negative four times a negative two, that's also a positive eight. Now the question is, which one of these combinations when I add them would give me a negative six. Which combination of eight, when I add them, they would give me a negative six. And that's gonna end up being negative four, negative two. Negative four, negative two. Once again, negative four times a negative two is a positive eight. A negative four plus a negative two is a negative six. So with that, I have my factors. N squared minus six and plus eight is equal to n minus 4 times n minus 2. Once again, the order does not matter. So if I wrote this down, n minus 2 times n minus 4, it means the same thing. Example 3, factor when b is positive and c is negative. Factor when b is positive and c is negative. Factor y squared plus 2y minus 15. Because c is negative, that means that p and q must have different signs. Because c is negative, that means p and q must have different signs. Okay, another way of saying this is, how can I come out with a negative 15 via multiplication? We'll come out with a positive 2 via addition. A negative 15 by multiplication, but a positive 2 through addition. Okay, so what I do is I write down all my combinations for a negative 15. All my combinations for a negative 15 involving just two numbers. Negative 15 times 1, 15 times a negative 1, negative 5 times 3, and 5 times a negative 3. Well, a negative 1 times 15 that does give me a negative 15. However, if I add 15, a negative 15 plus 1, that'll give me a negative 14. So that doesn't work. A negative 15 times a negative 1, that would give me a negative 15. But when I add, it's going to give me a positive 14. Negative 5 times 3, that would give me a negative 15 by multiplication. But when I add, it gives me a negative 2. I'm looking for a positive 2. 5 and a negative 3, positive 5 and a negative 3, when I multiply them, they give me a, that gives me a negative 15. But when I add, it gives me 2. And that's what I'm looking for, a positive 2. 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15. 5 plus negative 3 is 2. Those are my factors, 5 and negative 3. So what's my final answer? y squared plus 2y minus 15 is equal to y plus 5 times, times y minus 3. y plus 5 times y minus 3. Or I can rewrite y plus 5 times one, y minus 3 as y minus 3 times y plus 5. Same thing. As long as my signs, as long as my signs are in the right spot. Okay, this is so you can see it better in case the screen uh, was not clear enough. All right, so y plus 5 times y minus 3 can also be written as y minus 3 times y plus 5. The signs have to be in the correct position. What order the binomials written in, that doesn't matter, as long as the signs are correct. All right, now in example 4, we got to solve a polynomial equation x squared plus 3x is equal to 18. Same as we've done before, but they make us do one step prior to. And that is we must move the 18 to the other side so the trinomial would be equal to zero. 
So to do that, you simply say minus 18, minus 18, minus 18, minus 18, because the 18 is positive. To get rid of it, we got to say minus, minus. And we end up with x squared plus 3x minus 18. x squared plus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. And then we begin to factor the left-hand side as usual. All right, going back a few lessons, we got x squared plus 3x is equal to 18. I want to move this 18. So I say minus 18 on one side, minus 18 on the other side. I bring my x squared down, I bring the 3x down, and I bring that negative 18 down because there's nothing, nothing to combine with either one of these. No terms are alike. And then, of course, 18 minus 18 is equal to 0. Okay, now that I have my equation equal to 0, I'm going to factor the left-hand side. So I got x squared plus 3x minus 18. So I know i got to come over to negative 18 through multiplication, but a positive 3 through addition. So I realize that anything positive makes no sense because one of these has to be positive, one has to be negative. Notice 1 times 18 is a positive 18. 2 times 9, positive 18. 3 times 6, positive. So that makes no sense there. So that means I got to go with negative 1 and 18, 1 and a negative 18, negative 3 and 6, 3 and a negative 6, negative 2 and 9, 2 and 9. So which one of these combinations, when I multiply, would give me a negative 18, and when I add, would give me a positive 3? Well, I think that's going to end up being right here. 6 times a negative 3 is a negative 18. 6 minus 3, or 6 plus a negative 3, is equal to a positive 3. And that's what I'm looking for. So my answer is going to end up being s plus 6 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now I go through and I apply the 0 property, which we learned the lesson before. So I end up with x plus 6 equal to 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. After, do, after solving for x, I end up with x is equal to a negative 6, or x is equal to 3. How did I get that? Plus 6, plus 6. Excuse me. Minus 6, minus 6. On this side, plus 3, plus 3. So the solutions of the equations are negative 6 and positive 3. Also, don't forget that right here we got x plus 3 times x, excuse me, x plus 6 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. That could have also been written as x minus 3 times x plus 6 is equal to 0 will still give us the same answer. Example 5, solve a multi-step problem. Banner dimensions. You are making banners to hang during school spirit week. Each banner requires 6.5 square feet of felt and will be cut as shown. Find the width of one banner. Solution, step one, draw a diagram of the two banners together. This is the diagram when you combine these, these two banners. Notice they're put together at the angle. They're put together at the angle. Step two, write an equation using the fact that the area of the two banners is 2 times 16.5, which is equal to 33 square feet. Solve the equation for W. So we know that the area of a rectangle is A is equal to length times width. Area is equal to length times width. So the area, 33, is equal to 4 plus w plus 4 times w. Okay, now from the diagram, notice that L is equal to 4 plus w plus 4. 4 plus w plus 4. And that the width is equal to w. So once again, L is 4 plus w plus 4 and the width is w. All right, now from here, let's go over here so we can easily understand it. 33 is equal to 4 plus w plus 4 times w. Distribute the w, and when you do that, w times 4 is 4w, w times w is w squared, w times 4 is 4w. Now add 4w plus 4w is 8w, bring down a w squared. Now you subtract 33 from each side, and you end up with zero, is equal to w squared plus 8w minus 33. Okay, now you're here. So you ask yourself, what number is it that when I multiply, I get a negative 33, but when I add, I get a positive 8? And it's going to be a positive 11 and a negative 3. 